Hi dear students, today we have to discuss the next part of motion. So in the previous class we have discussed about the types of motion and there we have learned oscillatory, vibratory, periodic, non-periodic, random motion as well as mixed motion and we have discussed about the examples also and about that portion we have given some questions to you. Today we will discuss the next part where we have to discuss about speed and types of motion based on the covered distance by a body. Okay, so let's start it. So first we have to learn about speed. Now you might be asking, sir, we have already discussed about speed in the previous class. Yes, you are right. We have already discussed it. But as it is a chapter motion, so here we will learn about speed again. Because speed is a physical quantity which is directly related with motion. And what it tells? Now it is a physical quantity which shows how fast a body moves. So, how fast a body moves that can be shown by speed. We have seen it earlier also. So, let's see an example. Assume a body A which is moving with a speed of 30 km per hour and a body B that is moving with a speed of 50 km per hour. So it is clear the B body is faster than A. How do you understand it? By seeing the value of speed. Now the next question has come. How we can able to measure it? So measurement of speed. So it is also told as a definition that what is speed? The speed is a covered distance per unit time. Speed is or speed is measured by measuring a covered distance per unit time. So we can write it that speed can be measured by measuring the covered distance per unit time. So in the previous class we have discussed about this distance also. Distance means the total path length covered by a body. So I am not writing this definition. It is written earlier also. So we can represent that speed is equals to distance by time. That we all know. That is the definition by which we can able to measure the speed. Okay. Now the question has come. What is the unit of it? Okay. So generally we are finding the ASA unit. What is the ASA unit of speed? The ASA unit of speed is. See speed means distance by time. So unit should be unit of distance by unit of time. Distance is what? It is length. Nothing else. So what is the unit of length? We all know the unit of length is meter. And what is the unit of time? The time unit is second or it is written as meter per second. It is denoted by m by s. But apart from this unit also, we are generally used another unit. Okay, that is our general purpose. We have used that unit that is kilometer per hour. One thing I am clearing that is earlier also that kilometer per hour it is not a SI unit or not a unit of any other system. It is a general unit which we use for our practical use. And we know we have calculated in the previous class that 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. 
how it has come that is done in previous video so that one is not explained here okay so that is the story of speed that we have learned earlier also now we have come to the next part if you have not written this one please pause the video here write the whole thing i have written in bold okay so next one has come again again types of motion now you might be asking sir in the previous class only you have discussed about types of motion so what is it again types of motion so here we will discuss about types of motion but based on some another thing okay so what is it i can write it that based on the covered distance of a body in a certain interval of time we can find there are two types of motion okay so it is as per the covered distance of a body in a certain interval of time now you might be asking sir if it is given to our exam that write down the types of motion so what we have to write whether the previous seven or eight types of motion or these two types of motion so don't be confused whenever i will just want to know about this thing i'll mention that write down the types of motion based on the covered distance in a certain interval of time then you have to write this or if it is given only write down the types of motion then you have to write the previous answer you have learned there is seven or eight kinds of motion you have learned earlier okay so i think there shouldn't be any confusion if it is asked that write down the types of motion based on the covered distance by a body in a certain interval of time then you will have to come here otherwise you have to write the previous answer okay so what are that types of motion are there let's see two types of motion first one it is written as uniform motion and second one it is known as non uniform motion okay so based on the covered distance of a body in a certain interval of time we have divide the motion into two part one it is uniform motion and another it is non uniform motion now the question may come to our mind so what are these two kinds of motion that also we have to discuss let's start with uniform motion okay i am using this portion so first one we have to learn that is uniform motion so before writing the definition i am showing you an example okay so as you know i am having a car and i have to see that how much distance is covered by the car in a certain interval of time so here i have seen the time and here i am writing distance okay so time means i have i just woke up at morning 6 o'clock and started my journey at 7 o'clock so whenever i have started my journey at 7 a.m that time i am just sitting on the car and started that time the car is not moving so we can say the covered distance by the car is zero because till now the car is not moving next when i am taking a rest at 8 am or when the watch we have seen at 8 am that time the distance i have covered that is assume it is 40 km next whenever i have seen again 
the watch at 9 am i have covered a distance of 80 km and when i have stopped my car at 10 am for taking some rest that time i have seen i have covered a distance of 120 km so you know in car or bike how much distance you have covered that can be shown in your speedometer so you can show it so whenever you have started that time your speed your covered distance is zero after one hour you have seen you have covered a distance of 40 kilometer at next hour you have seen the total distance you have covered at 80 kilometer at 10 a.m. you have seen the total distance you have covered in this time period that is 120 km. Now you might be thinking that what you want to say? What is the story all about? Let's see. So 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. How much time it will take? You will say it is very easy. It is one hour. So in one hour, how much distance it covers? So as per the data, it covers 40 kilometer. Okay, no problem with that. Next, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Time difference or time interval, how much? You will say, sir, it is one hour again. How much distance it will cover? So you will see, sir, in 9 a.m., it, it has covered 80 kilometer. And 8 a.m. it has already covered 40 kilometers. So in this time period, it has covered 80 minus 40. So it equals to 40 kilometer. Okay. I said 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. How much time interval it is? You will say, sir, it is one hour. How much distance covers in certain time interval? You will say 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. In 9 a.m the body has already covered 80 km. In 10 a.m. body has covered 120 km. So in this time period body has covered 120 minus 80. So sir it is again 40 km. Okay. Now we are coming that every one hour you see every one hour the body covers equal distance of 40 km each. Every one hour the body covers 40 km each. So if I am telling that diagrammatically if I want to show you that assume that it is a car. Okay. So when it starts after one hour it will cover a distance of 40 km in one hour. So the car will reach here. Okay, and okay, the car has changed. And in next one hour, the car has covered again 40 km in next one hour, and it will reach here. And in next one hour, it will cover again. 40 kilometer. So you see in every hour the covered distance by the car it will be 40 kilometer. This kind of motion it is known as uniform motion. Now I am writing the definition you see. The definition it tells us if a body covers equal distances in equal interval of time then this type of motion is known as uniform motion what do we tell that every equal time interval 
the body covers equal distances so what is equal time interval here one hour that is your time interval so every one hour how much distance it covers 40 kilometer okay so there this kind of distances this kind of motion it is known as uniform motion where we have to see this kind of motion now whenever a car moves in a clear road where there is no traffic that time we have seen almost in every equal time interval the body covers equal distances okay that type of motion is uniform motion so one of the very interesting characteristics of uniform motion is that in the whole path of uniform motion the speed of the body is constant it tells that in whole path in uniform motion the speed of the body remain constant let's see the example here that we have seen every one hour the body covers a distance of 40 kilometer next one hour 40 kilometer next one hour 40 kilometer so if i want to find here the speed so speed equals to what distance by time so what is the distance covered in one hour you will say so 40 kilometer per one hour so it is 40 kilometer per hour and in whole path of this journey the car will maintain the same speed that is 40 kilometer per hour okay and that's why this kind of motion is known as uniform motion where the body covers equal distances in equal interval of time one very good example of uniform motion is that the arms of the clock okay the arms of the clock if we are talking about this 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so whenever we have to see the arms any one of the arms if you are taking it may be an hour it may be a minute arm or it may be maybe a second arm all the arms will cover equal distances in equal interval of time that means if i am starting from here after one hour it will reach again here okay next one hour it will reach again here if i am talking about every equal time interval this our arm will cover the same distance that means one complete rotation of the watch or the clock okay so that's why this kind of motion that is the motion of the arms of the clock is known as a uniform motion okay i think uniform motion is clear to you now we'll go for the next let's see so if you have not written it pause the video here and write it down now we will learn about non-uniform motion okay so before giving the definition again i have given the data just like time and distance again assume in another day you have woke up at morning six o'clock and you have started a journey at 7 a.m whenever you have started your cover distance is zero because till now the car or the bike is not covered a distance okay you are just starting so at 8 am like previous it covers 40 kilometer but whenever you have seen your watch in 9 am that time your covered distance will be 90 kilometer and whenever you have seen it at 10 am that time your covered distance is 100 kilometer okay now if i have seen that from 7 to 8 7 am to 8 am 
how much time interval you will say sir is it a question it is a very common thing everybody know it's one hour Achha, in one hour how much distance it covers you will say sir when it will start it is zero and at 8 am 40 so it is 40 kilometers sir very easy okay at 8 am to 9 am the time interval is again one hour so how much distance is covered so it is 9 am it covers 90 kilometer and in 8 am it already covers 40 kilometer so it is 50 kilometers sir and in 9 am to 10 am that interval is also one hour and how much distance it covers so in 10 am it is there in 100 kilometer and 9 am it is 90 kilometer so only 10 kilometer the story is different in first one hour it covers 40 kilometer in next one hour it covers 50 kilometer but in next one hour it covers 10 kilometers so every one hour the covered distance is not same in the previous part we have seen it is same but here we have seen it that this covered distances are not same just like if I just want to give you a pictorial uh, idea that the car starts here in first one hour it covers a distance of 40 kilometers it will reach here okay and in next one hour it covers a distance of 50 kilometer in next one hour and it will reach here and in last one hour it is covering a distance of only 10 kilometer okay so every equal time interval time intervals are same one hour one hour one hour but the covered distances are different 40 50 and then 10 okay so here what kind of motion we have seen we have seen non-uniform motion so what is the definition of non-uniform motion so non-uniform motion is a kind of motion so we have to write it in which motion the body covers unequal distances okay unequal distances means 40 50 10 it is not equal so in which motion the body covers unequal distances in equal interval of time comma then this kind of motion is known as non-uniform motion okay. equal interval of time means if we have seen the example that time intervals are same one hour one hour one hour but the cover distances are not same that is 40 50 and 10 this kind of motion it is known as non-uniform motion and one very important thing we have to mention here that in this motion the speed of the body is not constant okay in this motion or in this kind of motion the speed of the body is not constant meaning what is the meaning of it let's see if i'm talking about the first step in first one hour the covered distance is 40 kilometer so what should be the speed we all know that speed equals to distance by time so here in first one hour how much distance is covered 
40 kilometer time 1 hour so speed is 40 kilometer per hour in next it covers how much distance the 50 kilometer time 1 hour so here the speed will be 50 kilometer per hour next 10 kilometer in 1 hour so here it is 10 kilometer per hour so you see in every part the speed is changed first one hour the speed is 40 kilometer per hour Six, second one hour it is 50 kilometer per hour and third one hour it is 10 kilometer per hour okay so this kind of motion shows that the speed of the body in whole path it is not constant now talking about example where we can able to see this kind of motion assume you are just passing by a road where much traffic is there okay so assume you have just coming from a long distance where there is no traffic so you have come with a speed of 40 km per hour after some time you have seen the road is totally clear so you accelerate yourself or your car then it is 50 km per hour but suddenly you have come to a crossing there is much traffic so as there is much traffic so you cannot able to move by same speed then your speed has decreased and it will come to 10 km per hour so we have seen the speed is decreased so cover distance is also decreased okay that means this kind of motion is non-uniform motion now the question has come as in this kind of motion we will not get a perfect speed of a body because we have seen the speed varies so here in this kind of motion we have seen variable speed variable speed means 40 km per hour 50 km per hour 10 km per hour so if anyone asks you that what will be the speed of the body in whole path it is easier to say in uniform motion it is constant every time it will cover same distance so it is a constant speed but for the case of non-uniform motion there is no constant speed the speed varies so for that case we find one another quantity that is known as average speed I know that you have done it in the previous class but here also the need of the average speed you have understood because in non-uniform motion only we need to learn about average speed okay so that's why our next target is to learn about average speed my question is where we need to find out the average speed because in uniform motion we don't need the average speed is needed to be find out when it is non-uniform speed okay so let's start it average speed how we can able to find the average speed okay so in a non-uniform motion we know that the body covers unequal distances in equal interval of time okay so the speed varies so we can write if in a motion of a body the speed continuously varies with time comma in that case we find average velo average speed by taking a ratio of total distances covered by the body to the 
total time taken. Okay, I have written many more things. Now I am coming to explain that thing. That if in a motion of body, the speed continuously varies with time. That means the speed is not constant. We have seen in non-uniform motion. In that case, we find the average speed by taking a ratio of total distances covered by the body to the total time taken. We can write or we can represent average speed equal to total distances by total time. If I have taken the example of the previous uh, example I have given that there how much total distance it is covered the body. Now it's first one hour it is covered 40 kilometer. Second one hour it covers 50 kilometer. Third one hour it covers 10 kilometer. In the just before I have seen the example in non-uniform motion. So that is the total distance it covers. Okay, first one hour 40 kilometer, second one hour 50 kilometer, and third one hour 10 kilometer. Total time taken one hour plus one hour plus one hour. Right? Because first in one hour it covers 40, second one hour 50, third one hour 10. So total time is 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. So the ratio will come 100 by 3. Okay. So if I find it in decimal, 3, 3 is a and 3, 3 is a. Okay. And 33.33. So it will continue. So you can write it is 33.33 kilometer per hour. What is it? That is known as the average speed. So as the body moves in whole path in variable speed, so to find the average speed, we can find it by an idea of total distances divided by total time taken, then we'll get the average speed of a body. And which, in which body or in which type of motion we find the average speed? Mainly in case of non-uniform motion. Okay, because for uniform motion, it is very much clear that the speed of the body is constant. But in non-uniform motion, it is not. That's why we have find it average speed. Okay. Okay. Now, we'll discuss some numericals from your book only. Okay, so from your books exercise, we will do some numerical. Some easy numerical we will do. Okay, so if you have not having copy, just write it down and come with your copy and see the book. So it is not possible for me to write all the questions here. I am just mentioning the question number and what is written here. By that, I think you can able to understand. So I will just do it question number three here first. Numerical. So it is told a boy travels with an average speed of 10 meter per second. The boy travels with an average speed. So average speed of boy, it is given 10 meter per second. Okay. Now for 20 minute. So how much time it covered? How much time the boy covers? The time is 20 minutes. Now it is asked, how much distance does he travel? How much distance does he travel? So you have to find the distance. And so what is the equation we have to follow here? We know that speed equals to distance by time. You all know that. And distance is equals to speed into time. As a speed is given, yes, it is given 10 meter per second. Time is given 20 minutes. Here there is a problem. You might be asking, so what is the problem? Problem is, you see, 
the average speed of the boy given in 10 meter per second 10 meter per second so here the unit of time we have taken that is second but here when we are finding the total time we have given in minutes okay so the units are changed so we have to take it in a same unit system so 20 minutes equals to how much second 20 into 60 that much of second okay now we can put the value here if the units are not in same kind then our answer will be wrong so what is the speed 10 what is the time 1200 okay so distance as the distance here in the unit of speed it is given in meter so that here also the distance will be coming in meter so it will be 12,000 meter so 12,000 meter means how much kilometer 12 kilometer you, you may ask that if we have kept it in 12,000 meter can you give mark yes I'll give you mark okay because the answer is correct if it is told that you have to convert it in kilometer you can come here otherwise not needed but if you do it directly also I don't have any problem you can write it okay that is all about the question number three five a cyclist travels a distance of one kilometer in first hour okay so a cyclist okay so covers how much distance now the distance is given one kilometer in how much time the time is one hour okay so in one kilometer it he covers or the cyclist covers in one kilometer in one hour next 0 0.5 kilometer in next one hour okay next one hour he or she covers 0 0.5 kilometer and in next one hour he covers 0 0.3 kilometer okay so in three hours he covers three different distances so what kind of motion it is if it is asked so it is clearly a non-uniform motion why it is a non-uniform motion because in equal time intervals the body covers or the cyclist covers different different distances first one kilometer then 0.5 then 0.3 okay then see what is the question find the average speed of the cyclist in kilometer per hour so first question average speed in kilometer per hour you have to find out so what is the equation of average speed now average speed equals to total distance upon total time taken that we all know okay so here the total distances are given yes the first distance he covered one kilometer then 0 0.5 kilometer then 0 0.3 kilometer so total distance will be one kilometer plus 0 0.5 kilometer plus 0 0.3 kilometer divided by total time taken one hour plus one hour plus one hour okay so if we add together so it will be 1.8 by 3 kilometer per hour okay because 1 plus 0.5 plus 0.3 that means 1.8 by 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 so here it will come 0 0.6 kilometer per hour that is the speed of the cyclist in kilometer per hour. Now the question has come, question number two. That is, you have to find the average speed in meter per second. So average speed in meter per second. 
तो एवरेज स्पीड इन मीटर पर सेकेंड मीन्स यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस किलोमीटर पर आवर टू मीटर पर सेकेंड अच्छा वी ऑल नो दैट वन किलोमीटर पर आवर इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाई एटीन मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके ना हाउ मच किलोमीटर सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आवर सो दैट मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू फाइव बाई एटीन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू फाइव मीन्स थ्री बाई एटीन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो इट इज वन बाई सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड सो इफ आई कन्वर्ट इट इंटू डेसीमल सो लेट्स डू इट सो फर्स्ट इट विल कम अ पॉइंट सो सिक्स वन ज then 44 will come then 40 66 up then again 4 6 then again 4 6 it will continue okay this much meter per second or we can take apparent value that is 1.67 meter per second okay so that is our answer to question number 6 okay uh A car travels with a speed of thirty kilometer per hour for thirty minutes. So it is little bit of difficult numerical on your perspective. Let's see. Car travels. Now what is given? The speed of the car is given. Time is given. What is the speed of car? Now in first case it is told. That the car is moving with a speed of thirty kilometer per hour. How much time it will move for thirty minutes? Okay. Next, it is told. Then, with a speed of forty kilometer per hour for one hour. So, forty kilometer per hour by this speed, it will move for one hour. Okay. Now the first question is the total distance travelled by the car. Total distance travelled by the car. अच्छा, can we able to find the distance in each case? Here you see the speed is given. Here the time is given. We know that speed equals to distance by time. and then distance equals to speed into time so if speed and time is given to us we can able to find the distance so we have to find here so right distance in first case first case means 30 km per hour that is your speed and 30 minutes your time so distance is first case we have denoted it by d1 so d1 equals to how much what is the speed 30 km per hour what is the time 30 minutes here there is a question what is the question now you see here the unit of speed is given in km per hour so unit of time it is in hour but here you see the time is given in minute So we have to convert it in hour. Thirty minutes means thirty by sixty. That means half an hour. So here we have to take the time in hour because the unit of speed, the time unit is hour. Okay, so that's why we have to convert it one by two. So two fifteen is thirty. So it is fifteen kilometer. Very easy. Coming to distance in second case. So in second case, we are taking the distance is d two. Okay. So what is the speed of the body? Because equation is same. Speed into time. So speed will be forty. Time is how much? One hour. Here you see the unit of time is hour and time is given also in hour. So there is no change. We don't need to make any change. Forty into one, so it is forty kilometer. Now, what is the total distance? So total distance d equals to 
d1 plus d2 so d1 equals to 15 plus 40 55 kilometer okay so total distance covered by the car that is 55 kilometer now the next question is total time so total time you see first it will take half an hour and next it is one hour so total time will be half plus one hour so it is three by two hour it's very easy total time means the times is taken by the car okay so half plus one question number three the question number three is find the average speed of the car so average speed so average speed means total distance by total time okay so what is the total distance covered we are finding out it 55 so it is 55 kilometer what is the total time the 3 by 2 so this much kilometer per hour now you see the 2 will come up you have already calculated in a form you have already learned about the fractional division so this 2 will come up so it will be 55 into 2 by 3 kilometer per hour so it is 110 by 3 kilometer per hour if we just convert it in decimal so 3 3 is a 9 2 3 6 is a uh, then again 2 then again 6 is a 6 6 it will continue and if I am taking an approximate value it will be 36.67 kilometer per hour that is the average speed of the body okay so for today it is enough